So now I'm going to start going through the method we were talking about in the last videos to find these general solutions to trigonometric equations. So it might seem a bit odd at first, but it's the same method every single time. So just practice it and then uh, you can basically just puke it back up for the leaving cert if you understand it or not. But hopefully you understand it, if not watch the last video uh, again. So we'll start, the first thing you do, so the first thing you do is you just write out, so sorry, find the general solution to cos theta is equal to minus root three over two. And that minus is important, okay? But the first thing you do is you say cos theta is equal to root three over two. So you forget about the minus just for one second though. Uh, then theta is equal to inverse cos of minus root three over two. Okay, so you wanna find your answer. So you pop that into your um, calculator and you find that theta is equal to 30 degrees. So the important thing is, uh, I'll do dark blue. This is not your answer. This is what you call the reference angle, okay? Reference, okay, that's a bad CE. Reference angle, okay, yeah? Um, yeah, so not your answer, that's your reference angle. Okay, so the next thing you do is you look at um, the answer. So it's minus root three over two. It's minus root three over two, and if I'm just gonna draw this little circle out again. A, S T C okay and do you remember what um quadrants theta is, or cos is minus in we know it's positive in this one here because all are positive we know it's positive in this one here because cos is positive that means in the second second and the third quadrant uh cos is negative okay so i'm just gonna write that down so second and third quadrant and you should write this on your uh, exam if you're doing it so your examiner knows. So draw that little thing out and write second and third quadrant cos is negative. Uh, you get marks for this. So cos is negative, okay? So that means that our angle theta, so it's not 30 degrees, that's our reference angle, remember? So I'll explain what reference angle means, but we know that the angle is gonna be in the second or the third quadrant, okay? So the next thing we do is we add the reference angle, 30 degrees, and second and third quadrant, and we draw a little thing out here. So I'm gonna draw this out a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm gonna draw, actually no, I'll do a different color. Um, go bright blue, draw one out like this, draw the other out like this. So this is 30 degrees, and this is also 30 degrees. Okay, so that's the next step. So you take your reference angle and you draw it in whichever quadrant it is. And it's always, so I know you said you always measure it from the um, positive x-axis, so I'll get to that in a second. But you you draw it from whichever x-axis is there, okay? So you draw your little 30 degree thing there. So now, we're gonna measure it from the positive x-axis. This is gonna be the actual angle, this is gonna be our answer. So one of them is gonna be this one here, okay? And the other one is going to be this big one here. So then it's just about finding the two angles. So I'm gonna call it A and then this one is going to be B, so B is this whole big one here, okay? So A is just going to be, so you know the straight line is 180, and if that's 30, then A is going to be 180 minus 30. It's gonna be 30 degrees smaller than 180, uh, so A is equal to 150 degrees, and then B is gonna be the opposite, it's gonna be 180 degrees plus 30 degrees. So 180 plus 30 is gonna be equal to 210 degrees, okay? So that means our two answers for theta, uh, if cos of theta is equal to minus root three over two, are, so I'm gonna say theta is equal to 150 degrees or 210 degrees, okay? And now the last bit of the question is to, the last bit of the question is to find the general solution. So if you want, you can check these in the calculator quickly just to find that you get um, minus root three over two. But then the last bit is the general solution, so remember, cause it repeats or it has a period, whichever one you wanna call it, every 360 degrees, yeah? So that means our answers are going to be theta is equal to 150 degrees plus n by 360 degrees or 210 degrees plus n by 360 degrees. Draw a big box around that if you want. 
and that's your answer, okay? So that's the method we're going to go through every single time, okay? The first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the reference angle. Oh, sorry. First thing you're going to do is you're going to find the reference angle just by just by getting the inverse cos or inverse sine, whatever it is, of uh, your number here. So it's not your answer, it's your reference angle. You're going to draw out the little uh, circle there. You're going to find out which quadrant that your sine, cos, or tan is negative or positive. So again, that all depends on the specific question. Then you're going to draw those little angles out somewhere here on the, your, another diagram. You're going to figure out the two angles, always measured from the positive x-axis. Then you're going to find your general solution after that. Okay? Uh, so hopefully that video made sense. We're going to look at it, like three or four more examples of this. And so you'll have loads of practice by the end of it.